I'm AC Pin, uh, uh, Amado Kanla Spinlak, uh, but my tag name is AC Pin, and everybody essentially knows me for a lot of the Star Wars uh, mocks that I do. Uh, this particular one is the Duel of Fates, and it has been uh, what uh, presented uh, in other shows. Like the very first time I brought it in Breakfast Live uh, was when you know uh, people saw how I use the lighting on this one, and a lot of kids wanted to find out how the lighting works. First, I tried it with the actual Lego lighting but it didn't give like you know the straight glow so what happened is one time I was in the closet and I actually hit you know I had one of these lights on top and then when I hit it boom you know the idea popped into it and I actually took out one of these lights from the closet ran downstairs where I had you know one of these columns and tried it and that's how you know this came about. That's awesome and it's amazing that it works so well like you have the lights yeah. sitting there and it doesn't look bad because yeah. it's just a black it looks like it looks like it belongs in the mock. Yeah well one other one other thing is when Brick Fair well Brick Fair New Jersey came about in 2014 and everybody saw it so it was I didn't know that it got nominated for this particular category. Uh, simple yet effective. Because everybody who's seen it are going like, well, you know, it's too simple really, you know, if you see the effect and that stuff. But uh, I tell other, you know, AFOLs, a lot of the times, you know, when we try to do a design or a concept, we tend to overthink, you know. So it's like, Oh, we want to do a lot of lighting and that stuff. But sometimes, you know, the simple things really, you know, do work well. And like in this case, you know, uh, the build itself is very simple. You know, the whole structure, but it's, you know, a lot of kids like it because it's very iconic. Now, one other thing that I didn't know about when I first showed it is there's actually in the video game that there's a portion of the game that has this particular scene and a lot of the younger kids who've seen it picked it up and they go like oh I did that particular level and you know when I go you know jumping and they actually describe how it is and that kind of you know fascinating because well in the first place I didn't do this you know with the Lego game in mind I actually built it you know based from the movie scene but you know it just clicked to them that you know it happened in the game so it's a wonderful coincidence so it's awesome it's like the instant like touch point they realize uh, oh wow I remember I saw that I, I played that that's yep. very cool. Now you take this to uh, you've taken this to a ton of different shows. Yes. Um, I think the, it's just amazing to know how stuff packs up for transit. How you're able to kind of carry it around, take it to so many shows. What's your secret for a build like this? For a build like this, I can show you quickly. <laughs> All right, and here he goes to fetch something epic. Let's see. It's always interesting to know uh, how something is just taken to a show so frequently. And what do we have here? This is actually the case where this thing goes. So all, all of the parts and pieces go essentially neatly into this. So as you'll notice, right, it's a very simple packing. So each of these columns, I take them and roll them up. Okay, so that makes four columns. And all of these lights, they go in this and all the other pieces just go on top. That's awesome, so pa plan, plan or pack uh, everything and plan everything yeah. that you build uh, just with transit in mind. Yes, because uh, what I found out in doing so many of these shows, it's essential that you're able to have an organized way of packing because one of the other things that you'd want to do is be able to, you know, do the build, you know, of the mock in the least possible time because then you'll have a lot more time to enjoy the actual event. Okay?
come and set it down, set it up, and then go out and talk and build and draft and do whatever else you want to do at a convention. Same thing, when I pack it, it goes the same way. So I don't even have to think about it, and it goes, you know, it's ready for the next show. AC, thank you so much for sharing with us. Wonderful build. Uh, thank you as well.